It was perfect, if albeit chilly, for parades tonight. Temperatures still coming down, clear skies, parades are still rolling, and still plenty of time to catch the parades if you're uh, maybe hanging in some of the restaurants or bars nearby. 54 degrees right now at Kenner with a dew point of 34. Temperatures continue to fall. Winds pretty brisk out of the northeast at around 13 miles an hour, so at times that little bit of a breeze kind of cuts into you. Not much of a wind chill per se, but it certainly does make it feel colder. Look at this, 40s on the north shore. Homa is at 47 degrees, almost there at Bell Chase 51, low 50s now across the metro area, and we will continue to fall. Dew points in the 30s, very dry air mass today is what made it feel so nice. Uh, it's going to start changing over the weekend, but not tonight. Winds are, again, breezy out of the south or out of the north, excuse me, and a little bit stronger on the south shore, and they will continue to settle down through the night and into tomorrow. Today's high 61 degrees, a little below our normal high for this time of year, and our morning low is 45, which is not too far off of where we should be for this time of year. Clear skies on satellite, no signs of clouds working their way back into the area just yet. That will change kind of 24 hours from now. We are looking at clouds rolling back in. For a lot of the night owl will still out early this morning or late tonight, early this morning. We are going to be in the 40s on the south shore. Starting to warm up though during the day tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. High temperatures in the afternoon will be in the mid 60s. A lot of sunshine during the day, increasing clouds later, and then we do have a chance for some showers as we head into Sunday. Still a mild day, but it looks like our rain chance is Sunday. If we see much of it should be more in the morning and early afternoon and then kind of wrapping up. So as the parades kind of get started between one, two o'clock on Sunday, I think most of them will be OK. Maybe have an umbrella rain jacket just in case, especially if you're on the route earlier in the day, but most of the parades should roll on Sunday dry, especially as you go later through the day. Kind of a warming trend through the weekend. High temperatures will be back into the more mid upper 60s Saturday and Sunday, then quickly getting into the 70s by Monday and Tuesday before another front moves on through. And notice we'll start kind of our big stretch of parade days on the chilly side as temperatures will be falling starting Wednesday and staying cool at least through the end of next week. High pressure is already starting to shift away from us and that will start to or continue to turn our winds. They're going to be more easterly and eventually southeasterly later in the day tomorrow. That's going to allow some cloud cover to start working its way in as an upper trough moves in. Also on Saturday night and into Sunday, we're going to be watching a Gulf low develop. The exact placement of that low will be key to where our rain chances are. If you notice, this model is now starting to bring in kind of a 50, maybe 60% chance of showers on Sunday. Earlier model runs had no rain. And again, the Euro and the GFS have both been indicating uh, not a washout of a day, but certainly better than normal rain chances for Sunday. Again, not a washout of a day. Most of that rain should be more early in the day. Overnight temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s. Maybe some frost on the North Shore by wake up time. 66 degrees are high tomorrow. Overall, not a bad weekend for parades. Again, the showers more earlier in the day Sunday. Scattered rain as we start into next week with high temperatures in the 70s. But the cool down is just in time for the parade starting on Wednesday.